Okay, so we're going to uh, save a program. We're going to program the robot. Uh, previously, we saw that we can move the robot by using the jog function, but now we are going to create a program. So if we access with the exit button to the file menu, we're going to find all of the programs. Here we have that we have one. We have selected one program of the 46 programs that we have there. But if we, have, if we want to edit that one with the function button, remember, that we, we can change this, these buttons here. So, function, and we can press edit. Remember that in order to edit, we have to have this button activated. If we don't have this button activated, the menu will not work, and we're not going to access the program, okay? So, check that we have some program here. That is, if we have a previous programs uh, saved at the memory of the robot, but we're going to create a new one. So we're going to press new and we're going to put a name. So here at the keypad we have some letters and some numbers too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here at the screen we are in the number uh, positions so we can input numbers, but if we, if we want to input characters like uh, letters, we have to press the character button, okay? So we have ABC here, check it again. One, two, three, ABC with the character button. And we can name a program. So let's let's call it, uh, I don't know, let's, let's put a name like A, B, and C. So notice that I have to press three times in order to reach the C. If I press it once, it, I will put the A, if I press it twice, B, and if I press it uh, thir a third time, it will be the C. So we have a name, exit, and we have created it. Here we have the speed. This is the name of the program and the speed. If we choose to press these buttons that are called override, we are going to have the speed up or the speed down. I will leave it at 100% right now, it, it doesn't matter. And we are going to insert a command. So we have this screen that is empty. If we know the commands, you can check it at the resources that I, I am going to upload. We can put the first command that is mob or movement to position number one. Remember that we have to change character in order to put numbers. So move to position one. Sorry, I erased it. Move to position one and we press exit. And it's now saved. So in order to move the robot we have to uh, define a position. Right now if you see the robot it is in the home position. That is the first position that we must save. So in that case we're not going to move it from there. If it is not there, we have to move it in, into that position so we can save the first movement. So how, how do we save it? Here, at this part, we have teach. We're going to teach the robot the position. Record current position, okay. We press yes. And now the robot has a position saved. If the position is not saved, in order, when we run the program, it will uh, display an error at the screen. So we're going to insert another uh, movement, mob, again. Remember that it, these are the basic uh, functions or, or the basic commands to move a robot. Mob, position two. If we put position one, we can repeat it, but it, it, we will overwrite the positions that the robot has now. So we're going to move it. Job, remember? Position one from the teach pendant at the enable button or the dead man, and then press servo. So the robot is activated, and we're going to move it like that. Okay. So close the menu. We have a second position. We're going to record it with teach. Yes. And let's put a third movement, so you can see the movement of the robot. So move to position number three. And we're going to move it again. Remember, jog, 
servos and turbos activated. So if you see the robot, we're going to move it. We're going to use an axis like this. Okay, this is only for demonstration. We are not teaching a real routine of the robot, but we have three positions now. So how do we skip three positions? We have to press function and we have to uh, select forward, but in order to move it to that position, remember, enable button in position one, servo, and then function. And if you see the robot is moving to the first position that we saved, when it finish, it would automatically jump to the second position. And we're going to press forward. You have to take in mind that the program is linear, so it will be following the steps one by a time. So if we finish in the position number three, and we want it to return to position two, we have to put the position two here, because when the program repeats itself, it will automatically go to position one. So it can crash if we don't, uh, we, we don't, we are not careless. If we are careless, we 